Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we are going to go one step further with probability and talk about compound events. So let's first let's talk about what this is. A compound event, like a compound sentence, which is two sentences put together multiple. So a compound event is multiple simple events. So a compound event is multiple simple events. Multiple simple events. So let's remember from last lesson with simple events. Simple events are like flipping a coin, rolling a number cube, you spin a spinner, you draw a card. But if we wanted to do multiple things at once, we're going to look at how that affects the math. So the first thing that you're going to have to ask yourself is how many events are happening? How many events are happening? And here is the example I do every year. I want to flip a coin and I want it to land on tails three times in a row. So I want to flip a coin, get tails, flip a coin, get tails, flip a coin and get tails. And I want to know what are the chances that that is going to happen without it landing on heads. So I'm going to write it like this. Okay, the probability of landing on tails, tails, tails. So how many events are going to happen here? Three. I'm going to flip the coin three times. So this tells you how many fractions you're going to deal with. So if it's three events, that's three fractions. Now the next part. We have to calculate the probability of each event. Probability of each event. So what is the probability that you will flip a coin and it will land on tails? One out of two. All right, second event. What is the probability that you will flip a coin and it will land on tails? One over two. All right, third event. What is the probability that you will flip a coin and it will land on tails. Yeah, it's one over two. And I know you probably felt like that was redundant, but this question gets missed every year. So once I have my three probabilities, the last step for me to do is to multiply those probabilities together. So step three, I multiply probabilities together. And when we multiply fractions, we do top times top times top. So one times one times one is one. Two times two times two, eight. So the chances that I flip a coin three times and it lands on tails all three times is one in eight. Now here is a picture to show that. There is something called a sample space and a tree diagram. I love to make tree diagrams. And tree diagrams are a way for us to model what is happening. So I have three events, so I'm gonna have three columns. I'm going to flip a coin. What are the two outcomes I have when I flip a coin? Heads or tails. So I'm going to put H and T. And I'm going to leave some room. H and T. Heads and tails. Now, the second event, I'm going to flip a coin. What are my two possible outcomes? Heads or tails again. So when I flip this coin a second time, if I landed on heads the first time, I could potentially land on heads the second time. 
or I could land on tails the second time. If I landed on tails the first time, it could land on heads the second time. Or it might land on tails. It's possible. Now I have one column, heads or tails. The second column, heads and tails. I need to do it a third time because I'm flipping the coin three times. So after I flip the coin again, I could get heads or tails. All right. Once we flip the coin three times, we've got one, two, three coin flips. If I follow the lines, it will show me all of my possible combinations. Again, this is a tree diagram. So if I have heads, 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 that's one. I could also do heads, heads, tails. Heads, tails, heads. Or heads, tails, tails. And now we get to this part, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, tails. We are making a list of all the possible combinations. Tails, tails, heads, or tails, tails, tails. Now, this is called a sample space where you list all the possible outcomes. Now, at the beginning, my question was, I wanted to flip a coin three times and land on tails three times. Looking at all of the possible outcomes, how many times did I get tails, tails, tails? One time right here. Out of how many total combinations were there? Eight, two, four, six, eight. So this is a one in eight chance. All right. Good luck. Take your time. You're looking for multiple events multiplied together. I will see you guys next time when we make predictions.